I think it's absolutely fantastic. I, I've moved back from the other side of the world to be here for it. Um, I think it's incredible that it makes surfing accessible for everybody, no matter your background, your walk of life. I mean, city dwellers don't have to drive to the, to the coast. It's obviously never going to replace the ocean, but to have something like this on your doorstep is absolutely incredible. Uh, I would say it's all about cold water surfing. Um, at the moment, it's not too bad. The air temperature is definitely varying, uh, which helps keep the water not too bad. January, February might be a bit challenging, but that would definitely be for the hardcore. And we've definitely got the equipment that will keep people warm out there. I think we are quite a hardy bunch uh, in the UK when it comes to, we're quite used to the cold and ultimately it's about having good kit. You've got good kit. You don't need to be cold out there. It shouldn't be a barrier. And obviously here it is a bit more accessible than the beach. So, you know, we have got hot showers and you can get changed and have a hot drink afterwards. So it's, um, you know, the barriers, we've taken away quite a few of the excuses that are out there. Um, but ultimately, I think also a lot of people have just been waiting so long for this to actually finally happen. They're going, I, wa I want to get in there while I can. Absolutely buzzing. Everybody loves the chance to get in the water, to experiment. It's really important for us that we can work through the waves and risk assess so we can get as much open to the public as soon as possible. So um, yeah, everybody's super stoked to get in the water all the time. When I was a teenager, I used to be fortunate enough to go to the beach with some friends. And then when we were able to start driving, then we'd go on trips. Uh, and then when I was able to, I moved down to Cornwall and was living there for eight years, uh, which is where I first heard about the wave. And then uh, moved myself out to Japan, waiting for this place to start and it finally happened. So I'm back in the West Country. Uh, I think the big thing, like with all the coaching I've done in the past in various different sports, is being able to share that passion with others. So something that I feel so strongly about, being able to share that passion, get other people interested and share the love of the sport.